Welcome back guys, welcome to a brand new day of Road to TCG Worlds 2018 Thanks, uh, Thank you guys so much for being here um, Huge shout out to you guys who are live here with me on Twitch, I appreciate it um, There's over 50 of you and I realize Omnipogue and Dark Integral Gaming are streaming as well So it's really cool that you guys um, are sticking with me Or maybe you're just using multi-Twitch, that works too um, thank you guys so so much and huge shout out to Cyber Scoop, Ultimate Guard, um, Tabletop Village for your support, you're a sponsor, I mean if you're looking for um, showcasing your logo definitely check or get in contact with me, we can definitely work something out and we also have the Pokex special event in Cancun on the 26th and 27th of May where I will be there instead of Roanoke and I hope it'll be a fun time. So. Zor Guardi, it's a deck that I have yet to feature on the channel, I was really looking forward to using it and now is the time, I believe I used it in Spanish the other day but I haven't gotten around to using it in English so today is the day. Um, we have the 4-4 four four Zor GX line, 210 HP, trade, discard a card, draw 2. Um, we were talking about how decks feel kind of clunky in standard, I feel like it's the Zorak effect. If you've played a Zorak deck and then you go back to playing a non-Zorak deck, you definitely feel the clunkiness of decks that way. Um, we also have Righteous Beating, dealing 20 damage for every Pokemon we have in play, which is really, really good. Now, we have the 4 to 1 Cardi line. Cardivore GX, 230 HP, Secret Spring, you attach as many, si I mean, not as many. You attach an extra Fairy Energy, from your hand to one of your Pokemon in play, then Infinite Force deals 30 damage to um, to your opponent's Pokemon for every energy you have and that your opponent has attached. And Never Story, thank you so much for the raid and the host. Thank you so so much. That's very very kind of you. Thank you so so much for the raid. That's very very kind of you. And then we have Twilight GX as well, we shovel 10 cards into our discard pile. So we can potentially uh, double puzzle 4 times in one game. Um, then we also have Gallade, we have Premonition which goes really nicely with Zorg. It's like an extra Mallow. And we also have Sensitive Blade dealing 60 damage plus 70 if you use the supporter card this turn. And its fighting type obviously helps us in deterring our opponent's Zorg engine. Now we have one Mew EX to deal with Boswell, we have Giratina to deal with Greninja and huge thanks to the person who sent me the code for this Giratina, uh, I forgot the name right now but thank you, thank you so much for that story raid, <laughs> Boost Turtle TV um, and then we have the Triple LA for setup. Now for supporters we have 3 Bridget, 3N, 1 Cynthia one Sycamore and two Mallow in order to help us setting up. Um, we have two Guzma as well. And then for item cards, we have the four Ultraball and four Puzzle, standard inclusions in Zorak decks. We have triple Rare Candy to help us evolve. We have double Evo Soda to help us evolve as well. We have double Field Lower to have um, resources against Garb. We have the Max Potion, we have the Enhanced Hammer, we have the uh, Parallel CD, we have the Choice Band, and we have the Floatstone. And then rounding out the deck, we have four Fairy Energy and four TCEs. So that's the list that we're gonna be trying out today. Let's keep the win streak. Um, the win streak means we get, um, or you guys get more and more codes um, after every win. And so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully, Zor Guardi works out for us today. Okay, and thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for your support, for all the cheering and subscriptions and follows. Thank you guys so, so much. This, this has been quite the stream today. So let me ask you guys this. I've noticed that I keep clashing with, um, with guys like Omnipoke, with guys like um, Azul, uh, in terms of streaming. Like we all stream at the same time and therefore we, um, like I'm sure it's really good for you guys where you get to choose who you watch and whatnot um, but it does mean we split the audiences so if I streamed later on 
in the day would that be better for you guys would it be the same Ooh, that Bridget top deck is just insane my hand is ridiculously good okay let's figure out our price cards really quickly one Lele priced one Lele priced and that's it for Pokemon no and the Mew Lele and Mew priced and then one Evil Soda one blower uh, one puzzle piece uh, one Bridget that's it that's our six price cards so we actually have really good price cards our hand is ridiculously good like it's been a very long time since I got such a good hand honestly it's been ridiculously long since I got such a good hand like I'm gonna set up I can potentially set up Guardi, Triple Zork and take a knockout next turn with the hand I have That's just insane. Um, later would be good for you, Joe, bro. Yeah, I, like I'm, I've considered. They, my issue is most of the people that I coach. Um, ooh, that Weavile is so scary. Or that's Nisil, but it's a Rainbow Energy too. Okay, this Nisil puts puts a dampener plants. I mean, do I even care about the Weavile? I would be trading a Zorg for, I mean, as long as I only play four Pokemon with, well, as long as I only play three Pokemon with abilities, okay, so that's going to be the goal. I mean, I could just set up two Zorgs. Now, I think it's worth setting up the Cardi as well, or potentially Gallade. Okay, I'm going to trade first, and then, oh, it just keeps getting better and better. Um... I'm gonna trade the fairy. Wow, this hand, guys. This hand. Yeah, so I'm not gonna set up the guardy just now. I even have Galate. That's so ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. Okay, I'm just gonna trade away the Giratina. So, yeah, triple. Um, oh. <laughs> it's like I'm choosing my cards. It's just, it's so unfair that I got this hand. It's. Like, wow, if Zora Guardi would work like this every time, if Zora would work like this for me every time. Pfft. Okay. Uh, bye, Boost Turtle. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and yeah, so, like, the issue with streaming later is the fact that um, I. What is the fact? <laughs> the issue with streaming later is that. Um, most of the people that I coach either work or go to school. And so it's usually my afternoons that are booked with that. And that's why I stream earlier in the day. And like, I understand the appeal of seeing other people as well. Or seeing other people over me. Like, that's completely fair. Uh, which is also like why I want a better computer. I want to have better streams. I want to produce better content for you guys. Um... Like, I want to have better quality for you guys. That's that's my goal. That's, like, I'm sure right now we're having some stuttering. I hope the stuttering is not so bad. Yeah, the deck, wow. <laughs> like, that was an insane hand. Okay, the Enhanced Hammer means... Um, it means nothing. I still get the knockout on the Zorak here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> the enhanced hammer literally means nothing okay so i'll just start trading we're looking all we need is the float stone so we can trade twice and then we mallow <laughs> in case we don't get the float stone uh what do i mallow even i mean what do i trade here do i trade away the lele i guess i don't want to get rid of my dcs those are pretty crucial um okay so this is where we mallow for for what the floatstone and then what else the floatstone and a fairy the floatstone and a candy if i floatstone candy i can set up guardy and glade which is insane but then we well would actually be able to knock out guardy so never mind uh definitely don't want this i think i'll just grab the max potion and heal my zork that works too. 
That actually works too. So I'm gonna trade away the Ralts. This hand is just so ridiculous. Okay, so Floodstone, very candy. I already played a supporter card. I also get Premonition. It's just this is this deck is like cheating. It's like we're cheating. We draw extra cards, we heal, we take knockouts, we free retreat, we do literally everything. Okay, so what do we want as our top deck? Potentially Guzma. Guzma seems like a good top deck. And then Evil Soda is worthless, but it could be a good card to trade away. So maybe I put that up at the top. And then the rest, I don't think it matters. Uh, we'll post the Dark Dust main list. Yeah, it will be on the video um, for sure. It will definitely be on the video. Um, that video will probably go up on Wednesday. Uh, but I can put it up on the screen if you remind me. Um, if you'll be so kind to remind me, I will gladly put it up on the screen for you to take a look at again. Okay, so there's the Bridget and a puzzle of our prize cards. The Bridget is meh. Um, my opponent has no more Zorg. So even if we well takes a Nogat here, it's not even a GX. And to take a Nogat on Zorg GX, he needs the Stadium and the Darkness. Or a Choice Man, I guess. A Choice Man and the Darkness energy. Um, stream quality rock solid. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you. Um, see, Turrican, the, the rubbish, rubbish. Played to a league cup on Saturday, didn't drop a game until I played against Cardi Sylvian, where if I had played a single end during the game, I would have won. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, the deck seems to be really, really good. Like, really, really good. I mean, just based off of this one game, right? Um, my opponent did Enos, we got the Mallow even. Um, my opponent's heart is broken. So I assume he with the dark or and or rainbow. I wonder what other text he's using to justify playing rainbow. Because it's definitely not for Tapu Cure. Like the reason you run rainbow is definitely not for Tapu Cure. Double Galade. Yeah, double Galade is cool. Um, what did I play at Costa Mesa? I played Trumpagarp. I played Something very similar to the list that one, like one or two cards off. And okay, I guess we just trade here. We're gonna trade twice. And then I'm gonna Mallow to set up Guardi. Uh, yeah, that seems good. Okay, so Mallow for Rare Candy Guardi, and then we're, ha we're gonna have such a big Guardi, and the Guardi will be able to take... Oh, I already have the Rare Candy, that was very silly. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That was actually very silly. I'll argue that it's because I wanted to play the Prowl of City as well. That's like, I'm so far ahead that it generally doesn't matter that I Mallowed for one card instead of two. It generally does not matter. Okay, so I will Premonition, and then Lele, so I can Kuzma. Uh, double Puzzle is also cool. Lele for Kuzma, Choice Band, Double Puzzle, Parallel, and Goodbye Coco for a bajillion damage. There we go. I don't have double Galade here, but I do see the merit in running double Galade. I definitely see the merit in running double Galade. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the board is looking so, so clean indeed. There's a choice band, there's an N, that's fine. Like N when you have triple trade, it's just so ridiculous. <laughs> Like at this point, I would not be surprised if I can just get a clean knockout on the Lele with how I've been drawing. All I'm missing is another puzzle piece. That's all I'm missing to get another to get a clean knockout. Because with the dull puzzle, I get back DC Fairy, I attach them to Guardi, and then I goose one knockout. Wait, what? 
Okay, so this explains a little bit. My opponent has a 2 2 Weaval and at least a 1 1 Colisopet. So that explains the rainbow. But it also explains the clunkiness, honestly. It explains a little bit of the clunkiness. It explains a little bit of the clunkiness here. Okay, so we've all dealt a lot of damage, we can promote the Floatstone Zorg and then make a decision. And that's one good card that we're gonna trade away. And those are another two good cards that we're gonna trade away. We're looking for a puzzle here. We are looking for a puzzle piece. Okay, so with 4, 230 minus 20. I mean, my opponent could actually knock out Guardi. I mean, all we're, we're just one DC away from knocking out the Weavile at least. And there we go. <laughs> so it's just a really, really sick game for us here. Like, I even got the Fairy. <laughs> I even got the Fairy. So it do technically doesn't matter what I get. So I'll just do this, I will Secret Spring onto the Guardi, and I will Kuzma, and we have 6 energy, so yeah, there's a victory, like, that was an insane game for us, that was generally a really, really good game for us, okay, so let's do one more match of Zoar Guardi, and in the meantime guys, thank you so much for being here appreciate it uh, we're celebrating one year of full-time table one which is really cool um hope you guys get some good luck with that and the game did start so let's switch back to the game here we're up against ck13 we actually win the coin flip can we get another sick hand like with the, the previous game Ooh, one basic would have made this hand really really good just really, really good. Okay. Yeah, we haven't lost a match today, so that means we've given out a ton of codes today. And even if we lost, we would still be giving out codes, just not as many. Uh, I will show the dust main list after this game. Sorry, I forgot as well. Okay, uh, that was a terrible top deck. Okay, so our hand is actually the complete opposite of the previous hand. We did not do anything whatsoever. A Bridget would have been incredible. A Bridget would be incredible. Everyone started Cosmo here. So we even have a chance to get a knockout. Ooh, there's the end, awesome. So we just drew pass. Uh, my opponent still had such a bad hand that he needed to end here. Um, with a basic, we actually have a knockout here. And I don't know what my opponent is running, but it might be, it just might be the, the this whole Galio Zorg list that I saw got posted onto one of the Facebook groups um, that won a leak up. It seemed interesting. It seemed interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna trade first. We see no indication of special energy yet. And okay, I can trade again, which is cool. I generally don't think I'm gonna be trading. I generally don't think I'm gonna be using Cardi this turn. I mean, this game. And the double Guzma could be good. Okay, so. Based on the information that we have as well, it seems like my opponent is using a one-hit KO deck, and therefore Max Potion is actually useless here. And just getting this knockout on the Cosmog is really good, so props to my opponent for using the end. That was very kind of him. And we get an Ultra Ball, cool. So we see this old Galio. 
What we're looking for right now is another DCE so that we can Guzman start targeting things down on the bench. Yeah, it could be Katron Duck dot deck exactly that's what i was talking about um i believe he was the one that won with uh zorg soul Galio, and there it is zorg soul Galio. okay so we don't hmm i need kuzma right so i'm not gonna mallow this turn if i don't get kuzma i just attack this whole Galio. Ooh, there's a dc that works i'll trade the other ralts Okay, more DCs for everyone, which is cool. I mean, we really don't care about this uh, Soul Kalio for now. All we care about is denying my opponent's setup, making it as difficult as possible for him to get knockouts, to get past the early game. We're trying to destabilize his setup. The double puzzle is also pretty nice here. We have discarded quite a few resources, but that's fine, because I don't think we need much else here. Um, oh, with Junlul, yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about the lack of picture. I'm really sorry. Yeah, I forgot to stop by the booth. I'm so sorry. Okay. So we see Lele for Bridget, just for two Pokemon. Okay, so all we need to do is target down that Cosmo again. We're good. Yep, there's a pass. Literally, all we need to do is target down the Cosmo, and we essentially win. It's like my opponent has a Soul Galio deck against our um, against our Zor Gardevoir deck, and so here we saw, I believe, the importance of trading first and then deciding what your plan is gonna be. Uh, because I could have immediately just double puzzled back the Guzma and that would have been okay, but I naturally drew into the Guzma, so now I still have the double puzzles um, to make sure that I can just get whatever I want. And now that there's no threat of Solgalio, I might just end up setting up a Guardi. Uh, it's amazing that I can just take prizes while setting up a Guardi. Um, or maybe even just knocking out with Gallade. That also works. Like, all I'm missing is the rare candy. I haven't discarded any. So all I need is a rare candy. My opponent gets fed up <laughs> of me and decides to attack me with the Lele. Okay, so now we just want the... We want the rare candy card. We might end up using double puzzle tier, that's fine. Um... Yeah, I'll just set up a big Cardi and that should win me the match. Uh, Fairy and Field Lore is nice. I can all trouble away these two. The Fairy is nice, not the Field Lore. I'll just grab Zorg and just to get that extra trade in. Wait. Yeah, I'll trade first, I guess, and then I'll grab the Zorg. And like with this last Zorg, I'll just Mallow for whatever I'm missing, which is where can the Cardi. Uh, but that's not knockout. So I have a Guardi discarded. So I should Mallow for Rare Candy and uh, Fairy. Right? Yeah, Rare Candy Fairy. That way I can Secret Spring and Attach. Yeah, that works. Secret Spring and Attach, and then I double Puzzle for um, Guardi and something else. Maybe the Max Potion even. There's a Guardi. Uh, yeah, the Max Potion works, I guess. Yeah. Just to heal my Zoark, to make it even more painful for my opponent. And then Triple Trade. I could have retreated and gotten back the DC instead. Uh, but yeah, Triple Trade. We're gonna be down to one price card. We can easily knock out this old Galio, I would assume, with triple trade and double puzzle. Yeah, we're pretty good here. Um, I could have just knocked out... Yeah, I could have just used Kuzma with Galade to knock out the Zorark. That was, that was true. However, I'm trying to think ahead, okay? So, if my field was a Galade and three Zorarks, 
it still would have taken me another turn to knock out Zorg, uh, I mean to knock out Leole or the Soul Galio. But Gardevoir deals infinite damage, so it's be it was better to take a knockout with Gardevoir here, because Zorg is not a threat at all whatsoever, and then Gardevoir can potentially increase to infinite damage. That's the that's the thing. Um, whereas Galate can't. So if I had Galate here, I would not have won this turn. I would have won uh, in two turns. Like, I was not going to lose no matter what at that point. However, the important thing is, for example, if you're in turn three of time in a round, um, you go for the, like, if this would be turn three and I had Galate, I would not be able to win. But because I have card of four, I would be able to win. So it actually does make a difference. And Zorg was not a threat. Like, my opponent getting two extra cards, that's really no big deal, right? That's generally no big deal whatsoever. I should have Ultra Ult first here. Okay, there's a double puzzle. There's a double puzzle. Um, so yeah, I hope the difference... Uh, I hope the difference makes sense here. I generally hope the difference makes sense. Just grab whatever, Paolo. I hope the difference makes sense um, as to why it was better, because now I can win this turn. If this was Galate, I would not have been able to win. Even if I set up another Guardi, uh, Secret Spring and DC onto that one, or if I had attached the previous turn, if it had 4 energy, it still would have only been 120 damage. So that was the reason to go for Guardi and not um, and not Galate, yeah? That was the reason. So that was a pretty solid win here, guys. Um, so that means two more codes for you guys. So here are the codes, guys. Thank you so much. One upside down, one Guardians Rising, even, um, which I hope you guys get a, a Rainbow Art, uh, a Rainbow Rare Lele, rather, not Rainbow Art, Rainbow Rare Lele. So yeah, uh, thank you guys so so much for the support for coming out to the stream. I think I'm gonna leave the stream here now, guys. Um, the Sylvan and Hoopa decks are a bit slow to play and I've been streaming now for two hours straight. Um, I can see the stream is stuttering a little bit more now, um, so I'm gonna give my computer a rest. Um, but yeah, big shout out to all of you guys, big shout out to Ultimate Guard, big shout out to uh, Tabletop Village, Sagar Scoop. Thank you guys so much, big shout out to all the Patreon followers as well, big shout out to all the subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. And I will see you probably tomorrow for the Spanish stream. And one last mention, if you guys can check out the GoFundMe, um, the link is right here, gofundme.com slash tablemon. Thank you guys so much. Um, any any sort of support helps. Just sharing the Facebook, uh, sharing on Facebook, sharing on Twitter, sharing on a group. Uh, whatever every little bit helps so thank you guys so so much and I will see you guys tomorrow in Spanish and then on Wednesday in English once again thank you guys and bye bye